Hey, what's up guys? This is Sweet Sour, and I've got a tutorial on how to use the F-Stack or Frame Stack tool that's built into WoW. Basically, this tool allows you to see all kinds of frame information and basically give you an easier way to access all the different frame elements within WoW so you can kind of toy around with things, whether it's through testing or for an add-on you're making. So just to jump right in, there's two ways you can access it. The simpler way is just slash f stack, or you can do the longer version frame stack. They both do the exact same thing, but I just stick with f stack. And as you can see, everything just turned green. And basically, this is just frame highlighting. This is highlighting a certain frame that I'm hovering over, and it changes based on what you are hovering over. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, it's showing all kinds of information. Right now it's showing medium, low, background, world, and anchors, and that is called frame strata. And basically that is just the different layers that the frames that are appearing on. And based on what layers they're appearing on will dictate on whether or not one frame will be on top of another or behind another. And as you can see on the list here I'm providing on the screen, these are all the different layers that you can place a frame on. But then you can notice there are numbers. So in the low, for example, we got some threes, we got some twos, and that is like layering within a layer. And we can actually cycle through each of those frames to get a better idea of what frame we're hovering over. So right now we're hovering over the raid frame that my player, if you press Alt, you see the little arrow moving, and it's just telling us what we're currently uh, highlighting over. And the highlight changes based on what we're selecting. Now, the other thing you're notice, you may be noticing too, is a little red square at corners. Those corners are anchor points, and you can see at the very bottom of this list, there's anchors. And that is just telling you what all the anchors are. That's for more coding stuff. So if you want to learn more about that, uh, there's lots of guides for it. Now, we're going to go to the compact raid frame 1. Now, this is this unit frame, this, this health and power bar. And I want to access as much information as I want about it. So I'm going to press Control. Now we've got a nice little window here. And we can actually turn off frame stack. So this is telling us everything about this particular frame here. So these, it's got child frames for all three buffs, debuffs, just and just it, the list goes on. And as you can notice, there's a bunch that have a not applicable tag beside it, whereas we have actual variable names, and we can use these to access these frames. And you can access them through this name as well. Um, and it's all personal preference, honestly. And if you click on one, so now we're inside the power bar, which is right here, we can actually hide or show just to kind of, you know, see if that's, you know, what we're accessing. You can show the highlight that we showed earlier from, you know, all the green that showed up from the frame stacks. And to go back, you can either hit this or up. Up is just basically going up to the, the currently accessed frame's parent. Now say if I want to access the power bar with code. I would type slash run or slash script, whichever. It's, it's like the frame stack, f stack. Run is just quicker to type. And I would type this, the compact raid frame one. dot and the dot basically accesses this part of the table or you know the sub table or the children if you will and so we would put in power bar and now we can basically do whatever we want with the the proper functions that pertain to you know the certain elements so we're going to try and hide it and it and it's hidden and obviously alternative we can show it But this, this little window here shows so much that's super helpful. 
So these are showing all the booleans that have that are linked to this this raid frame. Just tons and tons of information. And remember, this is accessed through the control key. And yeah, you can click on pretty much everything. So if we go back into the power bar, we get a little bit more information here, you know, just the background, the anchors of said element. It's not really showing that well here, but but that's really all there is to the frame stack. If you use this window and really get used to it and navigating through it and using these variable names, you can make your lives a lot easier with, uh, with, with whatever you're doing. Whether you're making a weak aura or an add-on or just playing around. This window here is just a phenomenal way to get what you're trying to do to get done. Anyways, I hope that was helpful for some. And no matter what you're doing out there with these frames, good luck. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. And I'll try to ask the, answer them to the best of my abilities. Until next time, have a good one, everyone.